Hey guys, welcome to this channel and in this video we are going to talk about what is airport ground handling and how it's carried out. So before we begin make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and like this video for more videos like this in the future. Ground handling addresses many services requirements of an airliner between the time it arrives at a terminal gate and the time it departs on its next flight. Speed, efficiency and accuracy are important in ground handling services in order to minimize the turnaround time that is the time during which the aircraft must remain parked at the gate. Faster turnarounds for lower ground times are correlated for better profits. Airlines with less frequent services or fewer resources at a particular location sometimes subcontract ground handling or on-call aircraft maintenance to another airline as it is a short-term cheaper alternative to setting up its own ground handling or maintenance capabilities. Airlines may participate in an industry standard mutual assistance ground services agreement called MAXA. The MAXA is published by the Air Transport Associations and is used by airlines to, to assess prices for maintaining and support to aircraft at so-called MAXA rates, which are updated annually based on the changes in the US producer price index. Airlines may choose to contract for ground handling services under the terms of a standard ground handling agreement or SGHA published in the International Air Transport Associations or IATA Airport Handling Manual. Airlines may also contract ground handling services under non-standard terms. Most ground services are not directly related to the actual flying of the aircraft and instead involve other tasks such as cabin services, catering of fresh food and drinks, the major services in the ramp handling involves aircraft mass filling, lavatory drainage, portable water cutting, air conditioning, air cargo handling, catering trucks, passenger baggage, ground power, passenger stairs, wheelchair lift, hydraulic mules, de-icing, air stat units, and aircraft pushback process. The services also include passenger services such as passengers check-in, get arrival and departure service, including lounge services. The other services include flight dispatch services involves communication with airline operations and ATC, a light demonstration of Airbus 332 pushback operation is also included for avid learners. Pushbacks at busy aerodromes are usually subject to ground control clearance to facilitate ground movement on taxiways. Once clearance is obtained, the pilot will communicate with the tractor operator or a ground handler working alongside the aircraft in some cases to start the pushback. To communicate, a headset may be connected near the nose gear. Since the pilots cannot see what is behind the aircraft, steering is done by the pushback tractor operator and not by the pilots. Depending on the aircraft types and airline procedure, a bypass pin may be temporarily installed into the nose gear to disconnect it from the aircraft's normal steering mechanism. 
Once the pushback is completed, the tow bar is disconnected and the bypass pin removed. The ground handler will show the bypass pin to the pilots to make it clear that it has been removed. The pushback is then complete and the aircraft taxi followed under its own power. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.